Namaste. In this video, we'll study about outputting devices. These outputting devices are some mechanisms uh, which are developed by the plants, and these mechanisms help uh, the plant to prevent self pollination and favor only the cross pollination. We'll see, okay, all these uh, different outbreeding devices in plants. Okay, outbreeding devices. First, we'll see the definition of these outbreeding devices. Okay, the various mechanisms that are developed by the plants to avoid self pollination are called outbreeding devices. So all those uh, mechanisms uh, that are developed by the plants to avoid self-pollination are called outbreeding devices. I'm going to discuss these outbreeding devices mainly under four statements, right? So let's see the following are various outbreeding devices. found in angiospermic plants right one pollen release and stigma receptivity are not synchronized which means Okay, the pollen uh, release and or the stigma comes to its maturity at a different times that what we call it not synchronized. Okay, we'll see uh, under this, okay, the different mechanisms. Okay, when I start discussing about this pollen release and stigma receptivity are not synchronized. Okay, the next one is anther and stigma are placed at different positions are placed at different positions okay right then third one self incompatibility and the fourth one is production of unisexual flowers okay so these are the main okay four statements under which i'm going to discuss about uh, the mechanisms which actually help in preventing self-pollination right first one the pollen release and uh, stigma receptivity are not okay synchronized and not synchronized which means they take place at different timings under this first we'll see a condition called dichogamy okay so We'll see the definition of this uh, right dichogamy right first where when stamens and carpels mature at different times okay then 
such condition is called dichogamy now i'm going to classify this dichogamy into two types basing on uh, which one matures first okay uh, in some conditions the male reproductive organ matures earlier than the female and in others the female reproductive organ matures earlier than the male okay basing on this the dichogamy is of two types okay one protandrous or protandry and another one called protogynous or protogyny right from the greek we know that protos which means right first and uh, andros which means male so it's clearly understood here that the male reproductive organs will mature earlier than the right female so stamens mature earlier than carpels okay earlier than the carpels right such condition we call it uh, okay protandrous or protandry examples you can see like in case of uh, apple moscus coriandrum okay then right in case of uh, helianthus okay and uh, hibiscus etc in them you may find a condition called okay protandrous coming to uh, protogynous here from the greek we already know protos which means okay first and uh, gyne which means female so here it is the female reproductive organ that matures earlier than the male so that is i mentioned here carpels mature earlier than the stamens okay so in this case the carpels mature earlier than the stamens and the condition we call it protogynous or protogyny okay examples in this case in c mycelia okay then ficus and uh, mirabilis and uh, anona etc in such plants you may find okay the protogynous condition where the carpels will mature earlier than so okay if stamens mature and the carpels do not mature there cannot be self pollination okay the self pollination is possible only when these two structures okay mature at the same time then there may be a possibility of a, a self pollination so here some plants avoid the self pollination okay by making the male or female reproductive organs to mature at different times and okay uh, thereby they favor only cross pollination and avoid self pollination okay so that is about the okay dichogamy which we have studied under pollen release and stigma uh, receptivity that uh, are not synchronized the next one we shall see about anther and stigma placed at different positions the second one anther and stigma are placed at 
different positions okay under this i am going to talk about okay two different mechanisms right one is a hetero stylic and another one is a, about a hercogam okay so first we will see about hetero stylic okay right now uh, before we go into it first let's see the definition of this okay right flowers okay with the styles of different lengths so in this case the flowers will have styles with uh, okay different lengths so in such conditions okay uh, we call it a hetero style right so flowers with styles of different lengths occur in different individuals okay of the same species occur okay uh, in different individuals of the same species right now example for this heterostyly we will see in case of uh, right primula vulgaris okay in this uh, primula vulgaris right uh, in this species okay it uh, produces okay two types of flowers okay so under these two types of flowers so the first one will have uh, i mean uh, right long styled flowers and uh, will have uh, short styled flowers you can see here right it produces right long styled flowers okay and another one the flowers with the short style i call short styled flowers right long style flowers and short style flowers in case of uh, long styled flowers here the style is high above anthers right and in the case of short style the style is well below anthers okay so we'll see it in oh here is the okay the pistil here okay and uh, right these are okay anthers So we can see here the anthers okay height and the pistil height okay so this is the pistil and here these are stamen so okay the the anthers okay are placed well okay uh, much uh, below the pistil here and this is the stigma and this uh, is a condition that can help in preventing uh, self pollination okay and uh, this is a flower which i call it uh, the long style flowers okay and uh, in another case the pistil is short right whereas the anthers are placed well above the pistil so in this case you can see okay the height difference okay so this is a right a long style flower and this one is a short style flower okay 
so dozens of two such uh, okay different types of flowers in the species of this uh, primula vulgaris okay we call uh, this condition as uh, okay distylus okay so here we have a condition called distylus so uh, the distylus indicates both the long style flowers and short style flowers in the species of uh, primula vulgaris here okay so uh, that is a condition called heterostyly which actually helps in avoiding uh, self pollination and uh, favors only the cross pollination the next condition is about hercogon okay uh, right so this is also an another outbreeding device we'll see first the definition okay if male and uh, female reproductive organs so if male and female reproductive organs are separated by barriers developed within the flower so there are some kind of barriers that develop within the flower and these barriers will actually help okay in uh, preventing the self pollination so even if the uh, stigma right and uh, the anthers uh, come to maturation maturation stage at the same time the pollen okay is not allowed to deposit on the stigma so the barriers will actually help in preventing such condition okay so this uh, condition that is hercogamy we may see in plants like uh, calotropis okay gigantia we'll see in a plant called okay calotropis gigantia uh, right and uh, this is commonly called the giant uh, milk weed plant which we will see okay very commonly in india okay and uh, in this calotropis right the pollination is achieved by okay insects especially the bees so the condition here is anthemophily okay in case of uh, the plant uh, calotropis uh, gigantia here so this calotropis gigantia has okay uh, it developed something called gynostegium so gynostegium is a structure that is formed by the fusion of stigma and anthers okay a structure formed by the fusion of stigma and uh, anthers okay so this uh, gynostegium right uh, helps you know in preventing uh, the self pollination here okay and uh, the mechanism that we'll see here is a uh, is called translator mechanism okay uh, well i'm not going to discuss about this uh, translator mechanism okay it may take uh, uh, some more time to understand this uh, uh, translator mechanism how it takes place in case of uh, calotropis uh, gigantia okay so here these structures uh, okay uh, are the barriers that actually help in uh, preventing self pollination and they will allow only the cross pollination here okay right 
uh, in this plant we see a condition called okay polynia so polynia is uh, a condition where the pollen grains are all packed okay into one single structure okay so this is a packet of pollen grains right so here uh, this word called this is a plural word singular is actually pollinium okay is a packet of okay pollen grains many pollen grains are packed okay into one single structure we will find this pollinia in case of uh, this calotropis okay right so these are the two conditions uh, the heterostyle and the hercogamy right which we have studied under anther and uh, okay stigma placed at the different positions and these two uh, right mechanisms help in preventing self pollination the next one is about self incompatibility the third one is self incompatibility this okay self incompatibility okay uh, it has genetic mechanism involved okay this genetic mechanism helps in identifying pollen coming from same flower or from same plant and thereby okay inhibit the pollen okay uh, germination uh, our pollen tube growth okay so here we'll see okay so here are the, the male reproductive okay structures and uh, the female so this is the pistil and these are the stamens and the pollen okay released by these anthers they settled on the stigma of the same flower okay so now right this is a condition we call it a uh, autogam right uh, if the germination uh, right and the pollen tube growth takes place it obviously leads to autogamy but we are studying about outbreeding devices and those are the mechanisms that help actually in preventing self pollination okay right now if the pollen is of from the same flower or from the uh, right same plant right the genes okay there are certain genes involved in this and those genes okay uh, will help in identifying these pollen and uh, if that pollen is from the same flower or from the same plant okay they will be not allowed to okay germinate or produce the pollen tube so so from here it won't go here this is germinated and it has produced a pollen tube but it will be not allowed further okay in the style of this uh, okay pistil clear yeah. so i'll see here that if the pollen is from same flower okay or from same plant then okay the pollen germination on stigma or pollen tube growth in style okay will be inhibited which means they are not allowed okay so that what we call 
the self incompatibility which prevents autogamy okay right and then uh, uh, favors only the cross pollination or the uh, xenogamy here okay so if it is of same plant then it will provide uh, if it is not allowed the pollen coming from the same plant but not allowed to germinate then it actually preventing gynogamy also okay right in this case some examples like uh, the passiflora okay abitilon etc are some plants that show this uh, okay uh, self incompatibility the last one is the production of unisexual flowers the fourth one is the production of unisexual flowers okay so this is again an another outbreeding device which will help in favoring only cross pollination so under this we'll study about something called dietary so which means uni sexuality okay so in simple the definition is production of uni sexual flowers okay the production of unisexual flowers is a condition we call okay dietary right now right if there are only okay staminate flowers then the plant is a male okay it's a male plant if you find only the staminate flowers okay which means the flowers that contain only okay stamens flowers that have only stamens and if there are only pistils okay we call it the uh, right the pistillate flowers so these are the one that have only pistils okay in this case if a plant has only these pistillate flowers the condition is called the female so the whole plant is female and we call such plants as okay dioecious plants okay so these are okay are the dioecious plants okay that is male plant is different and female plant is different okay and uh, right in some cases there is a uh, dioecious plants okay right maybe uh, monoecious also okay in some conditions the dioecious plants okay are monoecious so in that condition right so may have in this monoecious plant has okay both type of unisexual flowers present on same plant they are present on the same plant that is the staminate flowers and pistillate flowers both type of flowers we will see on the same plant then the plant we call it a okay monoecious plants here now in case of these uh, dioecious plants already we can see examples like uh, the date palm and uh, the papaya here so in this uh, dioecious plants actually it uh, avoids both autogamy and uh, gynogamy so in these conditions okay 
it will avoid both autogamy as well as dichnogamy okay and in the case of this right monoecious plants right you can say that the dichnogamous plants can be monoecious or dioecious okay so dichnogamous uh, plants okay can be right monoecious or dioecious so here which i already mentioned the dioecious condition here and in this case i have mentioned okay the monoecious condition where the plant has both type of uh, okay unisexual flowers that is uh, staminate and pistillate flowers present on the same plant here so in this case examples include castor okay maize right if both type of uh, unisexual flowers are present on the same plant right it may prevent autogamy okay but it cannot prevent gynogamy so it may prevent autogamy but not okay gynogamy okay so these are the various mechanisms developed by the plants to avoid self pollination and favor only the cross pollination